Whitman lived in Washington, D.C. for a decade from 1863 to 1873. During this time, he established himself as a great poet of the Civil War. And his um, volume, Drum Taps, published in 1865 and later folded into his best-known work, uh, Leaves of Grass. To support himself and to help fund his work aiding soldiers, Whitman secured low-level government work. He functioned primarily as a secretary of the day, spending much of his time as a scribe or copyist. He worked in the Army Paymaster's Office, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and the Attorney General's Office. All of the documents I found were in the records of the Attorney General's Office. When scholars have described his government work, they suggest he took things casually, sauntered into work when he wanted to, put in a few hours, and then left when he felt like it. The evidence I've collected paints a very different picture. We can now pinpoint to the exact day when he was thinking about certain issues. Some of these documents treat routine administrative matters, for example, appointments of officials, salary payments, and book orders, but others treat civil rights, war crimes, treason, Western expansion, the rise of the Ku Klux Klan, and a host of international incidents. With today's announcement of a large trove of previously unknown manuscripts, the Reconstruction Era has a much richer archive of Whitman materials with which to advance knowledge and enable a whole array of new interpretations.